Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do the awesome Passover or Pass By effect that they use so much in Sherlock and also movies like Scott Pilgrim. There are a lot of ways to do this effect, but I think that the way I'm going to show you is by far the best and easiest way to do it. Hey, what's up guys? So I gotta say something real quick. So there are a lot of videos online about how awesome the, the uh, transitions are in Sherlock and Scott Pilgrim. The problem is they're just talking about how awesome they are, but none of them show you specifically how step by step how to do these transitions. That's what I want to do right now. I'm not going to sit here and tell you why they're cool or why they're dynamic. I'm just going to show you step by step cool transitions as you see in Sherlock. Just wanted to say that real quick. And uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. In part one of this video, I showed how I did an Edgar Wright style transition into this scene right here. If you haven't seen the first video, be sure to check it out when you get a chance and I'll uh, put a link in the video description below. So after this guy is in the car, we cut to a scene where two wrestlers are fighting. So instead of just simply cutting from the car to the wrestlers, I did this Sherlock style transition here. This is actually really easy. First, I grabbed a bright green poster board for about $1.27, $1.27 at Walmart. Then I just recorded myself in front of the green screen, or in this case, a poster board, and uh, wore the mask and acted like I was getting hit in the face. So with that layer selected, you go over to Video Effects, click down on the Keying folder, then click on the Ultra Key effect. Then go up to the eyedropper here and click on the green board and boom, it's gone. So then you're going to place that layer on top of the other two clips. Then you're going to go over to video effects, then transform, then crop. Start the keyframe. And drag it over to the proper place. See it here? You can see it right there. You want to follow the mask or whatever you're using all the way over and keep the crop line hidden behind the mask. And as the mask goes all the way over to the edge and it disappears, that you just keyframe the crop line over behind the mask. One more crucial thing is to make sure that the layers are stacked on top of one another in the right order. The mask footage goes on top, the car clip goes in the middle, and the wrestler, or the final clip, goes on the very bottom. And that way it will look just like this here. And of course in the final product, you have this. Oh, also don't forget to add a cool sound effect like this here. Remember you can use this exact process step by step for a person walking by the camera or any other type of item you could think of and it'll work great. You just simply have a person walk in front of the green poster board and boom, use the same effect. Okay guys, that's it for today. Please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. I'll upload another video soon and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.